the hello. Okay, I am back from my Eve's to Math concert and I had such a blast. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <sighs> they were amazing. They really, really were. Um, oh my goodness. I'm just trying to compose myself and my thoughts to make sure I sound as expressive as can be while still remaining coherent. And I'm scared that my phone where it's perched up on because like right now my setup because I was just too lazy <laughs> to do my official setup. <laughs> it's just me having two of the vegan ace bottles. Oh, I'll show you. I have like two of these. My phone is just stacked up on two vegan ace bottles. <laughs> so, look, we just Reduce, reuse, recycle, okay, baby? This is resourcefulness, the fourth R, the, the the silent R, okay? That's what we're doing right now. We're messing with the silent R. And even like the angle's a bit crooked, but you know what, we just gonna do. We just gonna do what it do, all right? So let's get into this, yeah. The concert. Let's see how it started. <laughs> all right, so. Um, so they were, they were um, set to come on at 7.30, that's when like, um, I'm hesitating because I'm like, was it 7.30 when the doors open or 7.30 when the show starts? I believe it starts at 7.30, but they didn't go on until, I want to say, because <laughs> I was running late again. <laughs> I'm always running late when it comes to concerts, yeah, so to goodness, oh. My Achilles heel. Anyways, um, I was, your girl was running late, and so I'm taking public transportation there. It was like 45 minutes to get there. I left my house at it was 21. No, no, no. I arrived there at 21:30. I believe. Yeah, 21:30. So I, I arrived there at 9:30. So they didn't get on until like 9:45. Because I went, you know, I went to go freshen up and everything, take off my jacket and all that stuff, because and wrap it around my waist like it's the 1990s. Because your girl was not about to pay for coat check, frugal baby. <laughs> and as soon as I got all that done, that's when they finally started to go on. Um, <clears throat> so I only missed like what 10 seconds of their first song. I was like, yay, that's cool, that's great. And they started it off with a bang, no warm up or what have you. I don't know. They could have introduced themselves, but again, since I was in the bathroom at that time, I potentially missed that. So I'm not going to talk about whether or not they did. <laughs> but they started off with the bang. You already seen I seen the clips on how it started, so I won't reiterate that or what have you. Um, so yeah, so they started off hot and ready to go. The the sound quality of just the vocals. You could hear them enunciate each word and all their lyrics quite clear over just the bassy and just, um, just heavy, I want to say, drums. <laughs> and I'll look into the bandmates <laughs> right after this comment. But yeah, so everything was just top notch and you could hear everything crisp and clear. And I was in the back, mind you. I was like where the bar was because it was packed. It was a fully packed. I, I want to say the concert was sold out. I believe so. It looked like it was sold out because good luck trying to get to the front. <laughs> say that even up top if you see in my clips like it was just fully packed um, and I was okay with that because you know panorama <laughs> still around through you yes but still here uh, so and I was actually happy for that because my front side self I was actually able to get a full image um, well yeah like a good view on camera of just the whole set now let's talk about that the set the lighting that they had for the set was just really good. I'm sorry, this is like bothering. Let me just like, Yeah, now you're facing me. I was talking to you at an angle. But I guess now I need to get into the middle. There we go. We're in the middle. <sighs> Anyways, so the 
set. We were talking about the set. Oh. The lighting that they had for the set, I liked how it went hand in hand with each song that was performed. Um, especially when it, when it came to ex the explosive parts in their songs, such as the one where, what is it called? Jackie? Oh my gosh. The hues that played off of the main um, ease to Mars face. <sighs> Perfection. They really, they really spent a lot of time um, to the attention to detail of the linings that they wanted to have all throughout the set. So that was very, very appreciative. Thank you for doing that. Their electric guitars. <clears throat> what is his name? I forget his name, but I'll. Salary season. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put each name up there. Um, but yeah, he was on fire. And I'm kind of hesitant referring to them as he because I don't know if that's actually their pronoun. Um, so they were on fire. <laughs> they, goodness gracious, all throughout, they were just like rigging up those solos when they could, but not overdoing it though. And I like how even at the end of the concert, they gave us an additional show of a solo just showing off their skills. Justifiably so. Their energy was amazing, especially when um, the electric guitars. I'm so sorry that I don't know. <laughs> the name's not coming to me. Please forgive me. Was playing off of um, East Tamar throughout some of the performances. I really liked their energy and dynamic there. Dynamic there. Um, it was just, it helped elevate how eccentric the whole set and performance of the night was. Ah. Uh, me talking about it is making me revisit all those feelings that I felt as I was recording. And as you can see throughout the clip shared, some of them were shaky because I couldn't help but just dance so rhythmically. <laughs> Every time the solo would come on, or even when the drum would just like hit chest the right. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, let's just transition to the drums. <laughs> Now here, so I, I know the drummer's name, <laughs> it's Ryan, Ryan Hastings, um, and I'll make sure I'll put their at too. I'm not familiar with them prior to this, so I don't know why I remember their name, <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyways, goddamn skills, Sk like everyone, everyone in the band had skills. But goodness gracious, that drummer was like, I'm gonna get my shine too, and I'm still gonna compliment everyone. <laughs> well, it's like, obviously, the drummer is always gonna be the heart of the band, cause you know, help, you know, carry the beat, well, create the beat, I would say, drummer. I'm sorry, electric guitarist helps carry it, and the bass helps, you know, keeps that stability. Um, and we're gonna go and get to her toe passport. Why do I remember everyone's name except for the electric guitar <laughs> the electric guitarist who was doing amazing? They all did, but <laughs> it's because I'm too excited. It's because I'm too excited, okay? But I love them all equally. Goodness gracious, it's been such a long time since I heard someone just really show grade A skills on drums, I was just mesmerized by it so much so. Oh my goodness. And we're going to go on to the bass, the bass um, guitarist, which is Topaz Ferry. Um, tidbit around her is that, damn, and I'm hesitant, I don't know if that's her pronoun, if I'm sorry, they like to be referred to as her either, so forgive me, apologize. <laughs> but. She's a singer. She um, has really good song and music out as well. So, and I mentioned that because I was actually like surprised that, he, that Eve Tamar, they came on with a whole band for the performance. I thought it was like solo and they would have, I don't know, like those beat masters or what have you to be, um, to create the beats for each song, but no. It was like full out live 
in and that was obviously a welcome surprise to pass her. She wasn't in terms of just like physical presentation, she wasn't as eccentric as um, as the electric guitarist or the drummer or East Tamar and all that. But that does not mean that she did not stand out. Because as you, again, I'm always gonna be referring to my clips. <laughs> you always see that she just had a presence about her. Also, oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Aside of that, it's like there's a song where she is singing vocals on. What is it? What is it called? The name of the song. I'll just like put it here. I'll put the name of the song here. And my goodness, the focal point on her during that act was. She's saying, and the fact that she could keep, I don't know, she did like this balance of being soft with her voice but still making it prominent, which is very hard to do, um, especially for how long she was singing for. Congrats to her <laughs> for doing that. Shows her skills, um, and I hope she does come out with more music. And um, I don't know if she's like a permanent band member or if any of them are. If they are, welcome surprise. It looks like they all match each other's energy quite beautifully, how they played off of each other. And you can see just the genuine camaraderie that they all had for each other. Um, I'm gonna see it again. Burn my clip, maybe I'll just like put it in there too. Um, with how they were, they were, they were just all hugging each other at the end of the night. And I really, really like that. Uh, I felt like, this performance, their Eve's Tamar whole set is what I imagined it would feel like going to an Ariel Smith concert or Ariel Smith or like you know Jimi Hendrix or even Bob dang, Dave Bowie. Sorry, I don't know why I was gonna say Bob, <laughs> but yeah, because it was just so. Again, I say eccentric. It was. I feel like robots is like not really that good of a compliment. <laughs> it was very live and just. Oh, that word that I feel like will express it so well more than the first two. It felt like a true rock concert. Okay? There. <laughs> And I haven't been to one in such a long time, so I just felt so useful. I'm saying that as if I'm old. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but, man, I just, like, this, this was giving me life. <laughs> it gave me life. And I was so hyped up for the, even when I went home. So I had to kind of, like, work out a little bit, you know, just simmer down. <laughs> but, like, this is a great performance. And, they came on for an encore performance. Woo. They listen to our cries. I love it when artists do that. And they gave us such a delicious song to send us off for the night too. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Because a lot of times when artists come to Boston, you know, to perform, I don't know if it's the vendors of the, um, venue that they perform at in regards to the rules that they place on the artist like hey you gotta be on this at this time and get off at this time no if and or but if it's like that behind the scenes because sometimes when you know the crowd pleads for a second part or what have you they won't give it to us so it is always a beautiful and pleasant surprise when artists do give us that one more song for us ah that was great. Now let's get on to just some constructive criticisms as an avid concert goer. Um, some things that I would have liked to have seen done throughout the performance of the night is um, their, their interactions with the crowd, us. I would have liked if they stopped in between some of the songs to you know check on us the audience the crowd to see how we're feeling 
or it just share tidbits about themselves, um, you know, to just like create that connection even more. And I say this because I noticed that the artists that do do that, like they'll stop between after two songs or three and they talk to the you know audience saying like how's everyone doing tonight and beyond that generic stuff they'll talk about what the song that they just performed or the one that they're about to perform um, came about like the origin of it or how it is that they felt before coming on stage or how the tour has been for them been treating them thus far I really like when artists do that because it helps build that connection like oh this is the person behind the music and it's still while being open and vulnerable like that, it still allows the artists, I feel, to still have their privacy, you know? Um, so I would have liked that. And I said that because, great set, but it was just song after song after song after song after song. <laughs> there was no breaks. It was just back to back to back to back to back, which was commendable and very impressive because I'm like, my goodness, this person, has the stamina of the gods, the rock gods. You know, they have always like, I'm about to give you everything. Everything, I'm, I'm giving it to you. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? I know you do because you're rocking out really hard tonight. So I know damn well you got my energy. <laughs> and um, even though like I'm comparing um, David Bowie, I do want to say that Eve's Tamar, they stand on their own. They do. They have their own style, everything. So, just to make sure we make that point. <laughs> but yeah, I would have liked to see that. Um, also, what is it I want to say? How they interacted, you know, they were like playing off of the energy of the electric guitars. I would have liked to see that done with the other um, bandmates. Um, at some point. But then again, it's like different people obviously have their different energies, you know? Some want to be like messed with some zones. So that could be give or take. So I might cut that part out actually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's the only thing. I just would have liked to actually hear the perspective of the artist a bit more, just hear them talk get a sense of who they are because I, I try to look online for interviews about them and I've only come across one um, which actually got me hit to two other artists that I now follow on Spotify <laughs> but not really much about them and I feel like it, when that's the case when there's a lack of interviews for an artist to present themselves that the alternative to that to have the audience that they've cultivated in an art building genuinely so to feel more of a deeper connection with them again while still maintaining their privacy is to talk at the concerts talk at each stop that you do and interact with the crowd especially like here um Boston crowds are very respectful um, even if they may not agree with what you're saying, they're not going to be disrespectful <laughs> at all. They're really not, unless you're like being really out of pocket, you know? So yeah, and obviously everyone in the crowd loved Eve's Tamar with how you wanted a second song. <laughs> we wanted an encore, damn it. We got that. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching this review. I had such a fun time. If they ever come back in town, I will definitely obviously make sure that I'm there. If they're still in my budget. <laughs> because with how great of a talent they are, I know they're gonna just keep on soaring. And as they soar, those concert prices will soar too, which is great great for them you know hopefully that'll be my 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 income bracket will soar too so I can keep on going <laughs> but yeah so that's been me I wanted to make sure I got this review out on time while the feeling